welcome or welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see today i'm totally switching it up from what i usually do which is trial hauls i figured i'd show you guys some of my little you know daily life routines and one of them is washing my doggy peppa this is the star today she is my pride and joy this is peppa marie and we're gonna give her a bath because she's super dirty so it's about that time so are you ready peppa she knows she's about to get a bath so we're about to go ahead and do that so one of the things that i wanted to show you guys first is some of the products that i use so one of the products that i use is this four in one shampoo and conditioner concentrate it's from target and it's honestly one of my favorite shampoo um and conditioners to date that i have used on her thus far the reason being is because it's a calming formula it is thick and when it lathers up and it's lavender so you know what lavender does it does calm your nerves and has that calming sensation which you kind of want when you're washing your dogs right because what dog likes to be bathed um i also have her brush because of course i brush her out when she's done i use an old measuring cup something that i know i'm not going to use again just to help rinse so i'm not like constantly putting her underneath the faucet so those are the few things that i wanted to show you and then of course her own towel i never use a towel that you know we use for ourselves she has her own special towel and then i blow dry her because she has so much hair and if i was to let her air dry it just would be like a hot mess and it'd be kind of stinky so i like to just really um towel dry her really really good and then i like to blow dry her right after so what we're gonna do is come here mommy first we're gonna go ahead and take off her collar it's super cute by the way by the way you guys i got this collar from shein so i just want to let you guys know super cute i have to put her in as much pink because not only do i love the color pink but i like to make sure that my doggy is just as girly as i am so we're gonna go ahead and do that all right mommy down so we're gonna go ahead and get started so i'm gonna go ahead and run the water She's such a good doggy to you guys. She actually likes her bath. She doesn't mind it. I think it's because we've been getting her groomed since she was like about eight weeks, so she's totally used to the routine. Rather I do it or I pay for a professional to do it. So I like to keep the water lukewarm, not too cold because you don't want your doggy freezing. So I'm going to turn off the water so you guys can kind of hear what I'm saying and what I'm doing. So I have this dress on. I usually wear like something old, but I want it to look semi-cute for you guys. So. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and lather her up. And as you can see, come here, mommy, put your paws up here. Come on. Put your paws up. There we go. So you can look at the camera. We're gonna get you nice and soapy. Sometimes she'll be a little bold and kind of go over the bathtub a little bit as she can, like so that way she can see if she can test her her limit and try to get out. But I'm like, girl, you're not going anywhere. Your paws are getting wet, Nana. And I don't know what it is this time, but like she has like seriously gotten dirty this time around. She like smells like dog. And I know she's a dog, but I don't like her to ever smell like one. And I just like to kind of get all over the place around her ears 
I'm about to get on her legs. See, she's already shaking. So I try to get through this part pretty quickly. And I only wash her about every two weeks because she has very dry skin. So I don't want to dry her fur out. And then if I don't bathe her, then I'll take her to the groomers, which she will be going here pretty soon because her hair is getting on the longer side and I don't like it too long. And also she's about to get fixed. So we need to get her hair cut. This dog is spoiled. She's like our baby. I don't have kids yet, so she's my baby. Oh, be quiet, Peppa. Be quiet. Why are you, why are you moaning? It's certain parts on her body. Oh, I'm so sorry. Certain parts on her body, when I rub her, she kind of moans. I don't know why. And this soap is so good, you guys, that I only have to really lather and do it once. I don't truly wash her twice with this soap because there's really no need. It does its job the first time around, unless she's like super, super dirty, but she's not that dirty. She just smells. Like I'm about to get right on this chest area because my girl, I don't know what you got going on in here, but you are dirty. Again, like I said, she doesn't mind this part. She doesn't mind really any part of her bathing routine. Um, she's just really a good dog. But don't be afraid to get in there because I do. If you do, you're just not probably used to the whole bathing the dog, which is okay. I know people who just strictly just take their dog to the groomers and they don't bother bathing them. But again, I like to do it once in a while as well as take her to the groomer. So she gets a little bit of combination. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of water on her just to lather it up a little bit more. And then I'm going to keep scrubbing her down. Put a little bit more for her chest area and her, like, her beard. Right here, honey. Come here. Come show my viewers. Come here. Come up here. Come on. Come on. That doesn't mean jump. That just means stand up. Thank you.
so funny. It's like she knows. more white and fresh right compared to the first time we saw her before the bath so and she's just such a sweet dog like she lets me like tug and pull at her again i would not be wearing something like this i would usually wear something that i don't really care about like something more old or like some workout wear but i want it to be cute for you guys so you ready to get out you ready to go bye bye? And she knows what that means. Oop, you slipping? Sorry. Let's let some of this water go down and then I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little more rinsing because I don't wanna leave no soap. You wanna get all the soap off as much as possible. You don't want no soap. Also, after I'm done bathing her, of course, since, you know, she's a doggy and she has all this fur and this dirt, of course, I scrub down the bathtub with, like, bleach and cleaning products just to make sure my bath is all clean again. The last thing I do is get in the shower after I just bathe my dog. I'm just kind of going between the paws little feet sees her toes make sure there's no like dirt or anything in there before you shake can I can I do that please oh, we're looking good mommy we're looking good I'm looking really Fresh and clean. We're done, my dear. All right, come on. Let's go ahead and show your, my viewers how I'm gonna dry you. So what I like to do is first is I squeeze her little paws very gently. Her little legs. Like I said, she lets me kind of like tug at her. I'm gonna get the back leg. There we go. Kind of like wring out her tail and I just kind of lightly gently tug at the rest of her, her body because as you can see my little doggy has a lot of fur and this is actually not a lot a lot like she usually gets more than this but we've been keeping up with it Just trying to get your see can't get all this like brownness under her her beard but the groomer usually cuts that for me gets it really white all right so that's that so we went ahead and prepped her like make sure I rinsed her down first then we went ahead and lathered her and then I rinsed her off so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to towel dry her which guys she likes to be picked up like a baby. It's so funny. Watch this. All right, come here, mommy. Come on, come on. She likes to be like this, like a child. It's crazy. We don't even have kids yet, and she is like our little baby. So that's basically what she likes. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry her as much as possible with the towel, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry her and then i will show you guys the finished product when it's done okay guys welcome back so here is the sit here is the finished product she is completely blow dried and i just brushed her out as you can see like i said i do take her to the groomers as well so she can kind of get cut and like cleaned up because look at her face it's kind of hard to see these beautiful eyes 
if you can kind of see she has that one blue eye right here and the other one is not but yeah she is clean she's bathed now want to say hi to the viewers look at the camera look look no look okay you're looking at everything else for me so since she did a job well done guys i think i'm gonna go ahead and give her a snack which she knows what snack means so anyways i do kind of want to recap a few things so when i do bathe my doggy again i like to use the target products this is the target line the four in one shampoo and conditioner concentrate it is in a lavender smell and it definitely is what it what it says it is a calming formula it does keep her calm she's not like super anxious when i'm giving her a bath and i do believe a lot a lot of it has to do with the shampoo that i'm using i do rinse her off with the old measuring cup like i said just because i know i'm not going to use it anymore and you want to kind of keep everything that you use for your doggies separate from everything like the everyday things that you use um and then also her towel you know you want to make sure that you dry them really well and then you blow dry them um but other than that she's a really easy doggy to wash and even if your dog is not so easy if you just get in the routine of at least doing it like twice a month every two weeks you don't want to really over bathe them because like i said um most dogs their skin does become very dry you don't want to do that because then they get really itchy and flaky so that's pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoyed this, especially since it's different from what I usually do, but I just kind of wanted to switch it up for you guys because she is a big part of my life. And um, also, if you guys want to give me any other ideas as far as what you guys like to see, just go ahead and leave those comments below. Also, I do want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. My subscriptions have definitely just been going up in numbers and I love that and it's all because of you guys. So if you guys um, can just continue to like, comment, share, and subscribe, um, we would greatly appreciate it. Right, bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Bye, you guys.